Hello guys, in this video I'm going to talk about finishing plasters um, the ones I use and some of the ones I don't use and have used and I'll explain why so the ones that I prefer overall is actually Carlite um, I like both, both the red bag and the blue bag the difference between the two bags is just time they both finish the same way all the same way as multi finish but the difference between them is that the blue bag will set in about an hour an hour and 15 minutes and the red bag of carlite finish will set in between two and three hours sometimes longer so you can see if you're doing a bigger bigger set a big ceiling or a big massive wall you may prefer to use the red bag even as being a, a really good plaster you still might fancy using the red bag to give yourself more time um, that being said, there is a product out there now called it's called Extra Time, and it will just basically slow down your mix by I think up to thirty minutes, which will give you a bit more time too. So obviously that them things are great for larger areas, big massive ceilings, things where you're you're going to get it tight, and you want a bit more time to make sure the quality finishes right. So the wee clip behind me, guys, is just the the ceiling is multi finish there and the walls are carlite finish i just want to show basically the main difference between multi finish and carlite finish is probably color um, but as a plaster the main difference really is that i actually think carlite is a bit easier to work with i think it's a bit more creamy and um, whereas the multi finish from thistle is a bit more grainy so i think there's a lot more pressure needed for multi finish than there is the carlite um, but that being said they both do finish well and they both finish the exact same way the hog trowel and water and brush to trowel in um, but i do just find that carlite just just that bit easier to work with um, and obviously if you're working with these things all day it does obviously make a difference of what you're going to prefer um, so back back then to the things that I have used I've used the uni finish which is it's a great idea the fact that you don't have to prime your walls with PVA and you don't have to have them tacky and you don't be waiting you just work on with that stuff um, but I think the downfall of it is that it doesn't be sold very often here and I'm not sure it's just trustworthy just yet I would, need, I would need myself to use it a lot more before I could say how trustworthy it is compared to PVAs um, and also board finish I have used it in the past but I don't like getting it um, I think it's a bit of a waste as multi finish does the same the exact same job only it will obviously do multiple backgrounds so you can skim over sand and cement and over old plaster and of course over plasterboard as well so you're not tying yourself down to the one bag can only do this wall and then you have to have a different bag for this wall so you're, you're just good to go with multi finish basically on all jobs um, i think that's pretty much it and uh, just ha had a lot of questions on on the finish and where i get it and stuff i i can get multi finish here at b and q uh, Carlite's not sold in B&Q but it's in all the building supplies and hardware st stores around here um, likewise is the multi finish too um, but yeah the, bo both products I, I use regularly um, but I just thought I'd tell you which one I just slightly prefer over the other um, they both, both for me have painted well never had any issues with either plaster um, Back, back actually the differences in the colours is like I said earlier obviously Carlite comes out a grey light grey colour and multi skin comes out uh, a red pinky colour um, both set brown and then obviously dry out more white um, before they can be painted um, but on that note I have seen both plasters come out different colours over the years um, when I first started plastering a lot was coming out grey and some was coming out very dark red colours and um, don't tend to see that as often now 
Um, but I just assume that's wherever they're they're breaking the gypsum out of the rocks and crushing it up. Just different places that must be sourced in must come out different colours. But either colour, both always seems to dry out pretty white, so just thought I would add that in. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching and listening, and I'll see you on the next one.